um, having Austin here. I thought it'd be a good one to do since you're such a good caller. Um, we could do a just the tip this week on how to contribute when you're at a hunt with guys that really know what they're doing and maybe you're just kind of new into it and don't have don't have all the skills yet. So um, I can open it up. And I think one of the ways you can definitely help out is by contributing by setting all the decoys with the guys. And you may not know exactly where to put stuff, but I would say like showing up with the right attitude and knowing that like you're going to have to do some work today, you know, for the hunt to be successful, being willing to like go in there and start grabbing decoys. And even if you're just staging decoys, that's super helpful too. Like if you're pulling decoys out of a trailer or whatever, and you're setting piles in certain areas, you know, maybe you can get a, ask somebody, man, like take the initiative and just be like, Hey, if I was going to set some piles of decoys out, where would you want them? You know, they'll tell you where to put them. Um, but that's one easy way I know that you can help out immediately. Dude, I'm, I'm experienced at this point. And like, if Austin's running the hunt, I'm just like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, move, like I'm that's gonna a move great anyway. tip. This I'm is a- this is your hunt, dude. Like you just tell me what to do, and I'm gonna do it. Yeah. You know, it's like I don't. I didn't scout. I did not watch this field. I have no idea what's going on. You're running it. Like I have zero pride in this whatsoever. Just like tell me what to do. And it's like yeah. if you ask me later, like birds aren't working. Like what should we do? I will chime in. However, I'm not gonna be like, ah oh, man. You know, I knew one. that I knew this was going to be fucking stupid. We shouldn't have done it like that. Like I would, I would never do that. Right. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, even if you're going to help out, set out decoys, let's go throw them out. There's always a guy that is moving decoys and I'm, I'm that guy. I'll move them be- 10 times before sunrise. Cause I don't like something. I'm weird about it. You are. Weird a lot of people, that. a lot of people hate it, but I no, they're I not it. fucking I coming it. in perfect where I want them. I'm moving something or doing something different until it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's tough because like what makes it perfect in the end, right? Is just killing the birds. Right. You have no idea if it's because you move right. that decoy five feet to the left. But if they were killing them at twenty yards instead of five yards, and you move that one decoy, that's it. I or think it's my one or so you think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think my part of just the tip on this is like you're you're literally there to be a worker. Like if you get invited on a hunt, man, like you are there to fucking work you know so like that day you invited me out i'm like i'm not bringing waiters what, 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 what do i do bibs <laughs> what do i do you know like i'm usually the dog like i'm the retriever like oh, okay i'll i'll hump through the shit because i'm in decent shape you know like i'll i'll go a half mile to chase a cripple any day of the week you know i have no issues doing that but like just be prepared to work dude if you get invited on a hunt like this is not your hunt you just say yes sir what do you want? Okay. Sounds good. What makes you invite somebody back, especially if they have no experience? Like, you know, what are you looking for? Helping out. Yeah. Willing to help out, I should say. Yeah. Cutting grass. What are decoys? Cutting grass. Cutting grass is a big thing. Big it's thing. Mainly what I use anyways, grass all the time. You're constantly cutting grass. Cut grass. Do your own blind. If it's not good enough, I'll tell you to throw some more on there or I'll do it myself. But that's the biggest thing. And if you really want to get into it, you're actually passionate about going out hunting, helping out scouting. Scouting's huge. Yeah. Instead of just one guy all the time scouting like it is in my group. The guys are getting kids, jobs, but I'm still passionate about going. I'm going to scout anyway, but those guys kind of take advantage of it and don't scout anymore. So that's my biggest thing is scouting. Yeah. So if you had a dude that was willing to just drive around and find birds all the time, that guy can come. Yeah, even if he wants to learn how to do it, come with me. One or two times, then get in your car, go knock on some doors. Yeah. You want to be successful hunting, that's what you got to do. Yeah. 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 No, it, I'm, I've been fortunate enough to, um, like, knock doors for a job. And so, like, I have no fear yeah. going up to the door. And that's, like, the biggest thing. Yeah, a lot like, of people are scared. I'm surprised. Well, yeah, also, they're very yeah. scared. They're Not only scared, scared, but I feel like people get, like, really turned off too quickly. Like, dude, you're going to get 9 out of 10 no's. Yeah. Maybe worse. Yeah. You know, you could go out and scout and try and, yeah, you could knock on 20 doors and get 20 no's. Yep. And I think people get, like, really discouraged or they just feel like, I'm never going to be able to hunt, you know, blah, blah, and they quit. And, like, dude, you only need five great fields. Maybe not even. I mean, if you're in a spot where, they're, like, there's geese using that field, you know, you're, yep. you know, week in and week out. Dude, if you have, like, three or four great fields that get loaded up, 
to just be you. It'd be in a great spot. If you're a yeah. shitty person, you're probably never going to get permission. And then you just know, oh, I'm a bad guy. You get permission. You know, I'll be gear guy. Yep. You know, like people hate my face. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You know, but like the most chatty, personable person should be getting permission. Yep. You know? Yeah. So it's like with my job, if I'm not knocking doors and trying to get like work, I'm not eating. I'm not making any money. So, like, I have to find a way to do that. So, when it comes to hunting, it's, like, not life and death. So, it's, like, the easiest thing in the world. Hey, you're a really cool guy who depends off the land. We have something in common. You know, I would love to shoot these geese on your property. Well, you know, I got a nephew. Oh, okay. Well, is he in town? You know? Oh, no. But, you know, we like to save it for him. Well, these geese are here now and they're gone tomorrow. It's October. You know, they're not yep. going to be here for very much longer. So, like, we'll pick up all of our shells. We'll do this and that. Is there anything I can help with on the farm? Boom. You got permission, dude. I would say the biggest thing doing that is just literally just continue having a conversation with somebody. Right, right, right. Yeah. Keep I mean, they're people, man. Going. Yeah, they're just people, too, you know. They're just out here. You're just some guy that just walked up asking to hunt their field. Yeah. So, you know, they're going to want to know a little about you, probably. Right. Yeah, and when you, if you do get permission, figure out. If they want you driving, yep. Where you can be, can't be, where you should park, figure all that stuff out so you're not. How many people you can bring? Exactly. You know, if they're okay with you bringing. If a you're bunch guiding, of yep. Tell them you're guiding yeah, and no you're shit. making profit off of their Pay land. Pay them. Yep. yep. Right. Make sure they're taken care of. That's and a lot go of th- back every year and ask for permission again. Don't assume because you got it once, you're just gonna have it forever. That's my biggest thing is. Now that I have a. Steady job, steady income. I can go to a farmer and give him a couple hundred bucks, bring him a case of beer every once in a while. And it just helps out get yeah. retaining that permission for the next year. Oh, this guy's bringing me beer to hunt these stupid geese. All right, I'm going to let him hunt right. another year. Right yeah. Now. I've actually cooked for a lot of farmers. I've cooked birds for them. Because really? they don't believe like that they Like goose jerky good. and stuff, too. Yeah, bring no, them well, jerky. Yeah. No, they're just like, oh, this is geese. This was a goose that was shot on my property. And it tastes like this. My God. And I actually lost permission because he wanted to hunt them after that because oh. they tasted so good. And I was like, well, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, this is actually fucked up. That's actually pretty cool, but fuck you, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You know, his name was Gary. Yeah. Super old dude and had no idea what he's doing. So I hunted with him that next year and showed him how to do it. And then. And that was it. You never got to hunt again. That was it. Yeah. That's yep. wild, dude. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. That's how it man. goes. The, the one time. Good year. The one year that he did let me hunt there, it was really good. Yeah, like super. You got good. some good memories out of it. I did. Yeah. yeah, and he'll still call me every once in a while and say the geese are doing this. Like, what should I do? And I'm like, call me, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I'll come help you. Whoa, you know, I got my whole family coming out, and <laughs> yeah, okay, that's awesome though. You know, it's actually pretty sweet though. But that's that's your tip, huh? Just help out. Yeah. Scout, scout, set decoys. Cut let, grass. let the guy move the decoys. Cut it's grass. Fine. That's a that's like my big thing, man. Is like bring a head trimmer, you know, <laughs> like bring a head trimmer and you know how just many years I've mow cut down my ditches. Oh my oh, god, pulling grass and then finally got a head trimmer like two years ago. It's like where the fuck have I been, dude? That's why I literally keep a pair of leather gloves in my bag, yep. no matter what. Just work yep. work gloves, you know, because yeah, you'll just tear your hands up right before a hunt. That's what, Sucks. That's what I was gonna say too. Being the camera guy, there's not a lot you can do when it's pitch black out. What I do is for the first two hours, if we're just sitting there doing nothing, just add more grass. More grass isn't going to hurt. Uh, and yeah, you just, can't fuck up hiding yourself. It's more, better so. than standing around sitting on your phone or whatever. Just put more grass in there. It's yep. going to help. Yeah. And you don't need to know anything about hunting to do it. Just yep. stuff it in the strap. For sure. That's it. Yeah, stuff That's it in true. the strap. That's true. 